right, uh, in this video, we'll be doing uh, algebra and then we'll be covering a section of uh, linear spaces. So, uh, basically, what I'm gonna do is just to give you a, just a brief uh, explanation of uh, how can you determine if uh, a given vector is, uh, forms a linear space or not. Okay, so uh, say, okay, I'm just gonna give you uh, like outer vectors. Say, uh, we have um, a vector given as x, so we'll be having x1, x2, and x3, and then you, you'll be given a vector and also the, um, some kind of a, a rule uh, in which uh, this vector operates in order to show a rule, a rule to follow to show that uh, this vector forms a linear space. So yeah um say a rule can be anything uh can be the a product a, a addition or wh wh whichever um but you will get to to see what i'm talking about when we do the example so basically when you have a vector like this it can be uh in a column in terms of columns or rows either either one of these but the operation is the same and then if you are to show that uh, it's a linear space, you need there are two things uh, that you need to to prove. You, you need to show that a multiplication by a scalar. If you are to multiply a scalar, I mean, if you are to multiply the vector x by a scalar c, which is a constant, or um, you must get the result given on the rule. Say, assume a, a rule is like a uh, x1 plus x2 plus x3 is equal to 0. So what what this thing means that is that if you are to multiply this rule here by a constant c, you must get the right hand side which is 0. So this is number one um, <clears throat> number one thing that you need to show that uh, the, the thing, the vector satisfies their the the rule okay and then number two with well, number two you need to show you you need to to form another vector uh say that vector okay let me get rid of this side and then say say um, that other vector will be given as y so we'll have y1 and then y2 and then y3 the reason for this vector is so that you may add them together so what you have you have to do is to say x plus y you you'll have to add these two vectors here to to get the right hand side so what will happen remember note that y will be given as the will be will be written in the same form like the rule of y will be the same as this one of x so that that means will be will have y1 plus y2 plus y3 okay this equals to zero so what you will need to do is that you're gonna have to add um, y x plus y and find and find and find out if you get the zero and then if these two cases are satisfied then you get a linear space and one other thing <clears throat> if you are to to work on on say okay so let me just write them both of them here so one one other thing yeah, is you have this rule you have to show that you see is it zero and then you have x plus y and to show that it is zero and then if you are to work one of these and find that and find find that it is true like it is okay not it is, it is true it is not true there will be no need for you to call to check the other step because definitely the the vector need to satisfy both of these and then if it doesn't satisfy either it is not a linear space okay that was a brief explanation of uh, on how we solve these things uh, check out uh, the next video where i'll be doing an example from previous paper so real question thank you for watching